Miles works for the Daily Express published from London. He has been working for the newspaper as its chief cartoonist for more than 40 years. His cartoons reflect a deep study of the British society. His drawings are not mere political or social comments on contemporary issues, but are in fact visuals of recorded history. Giles' common characters in his cartoons are the Giles family. But the most striking character is that of Grandma Giles. Grandma Giles here is advising John McEnroe. Don't let them soften you up, Mac. Get in there and give the umpires hell. Apart from two broken ribs, a cracked mandible, a fractured cuboid and two lovely black eyes, did he get a glimpse of Michael Jackson? Giles' humour as well as his content is purely British in nature. I can't find a clause should your holy matrimony bust up, which would prevent your wife flogging your story to the gutter press. Giles draws, but his illustrations look like photographs. His humour is an unstoppable flow of brilliance with word and line. Nurse, he'll need another couple of laughing pills. I think I've taken all the wrong ones out. You think your judge should be fired and you demand to see your lawyer? No problem. They are both in the same cell block as you. She's not in a very good mood. We have been knocking on 10 Downing Street all afternoon and the policeman told her the jobs for the MPs only. Here is Grandma Giles again in a typical situation. Look at this cartoon where Giles draws every detail in a specific manner. The cartoon has comment, humour, satire, perspective and an overall pleasure of illustrating a particular situation. Look, what is Grandma Giles up to? Here are some coloured cartoons or rather humorous artworks by Giles. Giles is a remarkable combination of an artist plus cartoonist. Giles himself is at home anywhere in the world where human foibles and fashions could do with a bit of gentle mockery. Giles cramps the whole rich messy tapestry of life into one frame and makes us all laugh at ourselves happy at knowing that we are not alone.